right, so what's up? What's up? So many stick shift cars. When it sticks like this. When the stick shifts like this, cut this up. When the stick shifts like this, see, I had the brake pulled up. It's a stick shift. And I'm getting ready to pull this on the ramp. So me, my 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 thing is like when I'm backing up. Now when I'm pulling up, on pulling straight up, I don't have to uh, really do this. But when I'm backing up, because I'm not finna back this up, because uh, I'm gonna tell you before I get into it. The reason why I'm not backing this car up is because of this right here. I don't want the wind blowing up against this. So I want this to be put on the way of the movement of the car. Straight forward, not back against this. I probably could put it up like that, but I'm not going to take a chance. Because what can happen is that I could blow this window out right here. This window... This glass is really thin right here. This is a really thin piece of glass. So I'm gonna put this car on front frontwards, not backwards. So now here's another thing. I was getting into how I pull the cars up on the truck. This is me. Now everybody got a certain way of doing it. Alright, so my thing for pulling stick shift cars on the truck, if I'm bagging in, backing them up, if I'm backing them up on the trailer, because one thing you don't want to do, I'm gonna tell you one thing you don't want to do before I tell you what I'm, uh, never, never, ever shift gears going up the ramp. I don't shift gears going up the ramp. I never seen anybody do it, but this is how I do it. When I put my, when I'm driving a stick shift car up the ramp and I, me, I hang my head out the window all the time. I always do that because that's the best way of me getting them on there without damaging them. So I slide the seat all the way up. Right? Y'all see that? Y'all see how the seat slid all the way up? And then I lay the back seat all the way back. I push that all the way back. So when I'm driving this car, this truck up there, you see I gotta use three paddles. You got, there's no other choice. So when I do, I sit right here. Sit right on the back part of the seat. And that's how I get the uh, truck up there. So, let's do it. So my legs gonna be scrunched up. And also, with this, I pull the seat all the way, the um, steering wheel all the way up. Then I close. See, I'm sitting on the back. See, look. I'm sitting on the back of the seat right now. I'm not really sitting in the seat. I'm not directly in the seat. I'm sitting on the back of the seat. And that's how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna crank this baby up. Put it in the first gear. I put my head out the window. Same thing, but I'm sitting on the back of the seat. And my feet is operating the pedals at the bottom. So this is how I do it. I gotta measure it first. Stop right here. And I hit the brake. I hit that brake real quick. The car's still running. It's in park, emergency brake on. I always make sure the emergency brake works on the, on the cars before you even uh, pull them on there because you want to know you don't want to damage anything so I look at both sides you don't really have to do this but this is what I do I look at both sides when I get out all right go on the other side I look make sure my tires are even everything's even seat still pushed all the way up the back of the seat is all the way back. All right, window down. Then I climb back in. I put it back in first gear. Wait a minute, wait, wait. One more thing I need to do. If this is a four wheel drive, 
No, it's not a four wheel drive. It's probably an all wheel drive truck, but I ain't gonna worry about it. I see that. I just get it up the way. Get it up there. And I'm working all three paddles. And I'll stop it about right here. This is a big truck. I'll stop it right here. Take it out of gear. Pull the parking brake. Roll my windows up. I keep my foot on the brake just in case. And then I release my foot off the brake to make sure the truck don't roll. Okay, it's not gonna roll. So I cut the car, cut it off. And that's how I do it. So, if you're having problems getting the uh, stick shift vehicles up on your truck, try that. Maybe that'll work. Uh, if not, you know, just kind of like figure it out. Don't rush. Take your time. And uh, you'll, you'll get good at it. So, like this seat, I keep it slid. I slid all the way up. All the way up. And I sit right here and my legs extend right there i had a uh a car hauler he don't haul cars now uh shout out to phil robinson thank you for giving me that tip that was a good idea because i was having problems and you see on both sides i'm even that's because i got out my truck and i looked at my ramps so i got another I got another stick shift, right? I'm putting to put on the truck. Once I, I'm going to Atlanta. I'm... Old school Jeep. It's the island. The plane, the plane. Hey boss, it's the Fantasy Island truck. Okay. Oh shit! Here we go. There we go. strap out the way so this truck i won't do the same thing with this it's a little different you can just try that one up because the seat the seat ain't that bad Stick shell. Got that baby right there. See, I already measured this truck. I know. Gotta hit that emergency brake. Oop, there we go. Wonder what.
I wonder if I beat this bitch in. If I beat it. Okay, no, I'm gonna have them straighten that bar out. They have to straighten this out. Damn, man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 